Hi, in this video I'm sharing a workaround solution that I've come up with. It's for modifying the script of the Google AdSense responsive ad units so that you can add a cookie consent opt-out button which is required as part of European law. I'll just show you very quickly the site in question. This is a website that I've created and as you can see at the bottom of the screen it says we use cookies to ensure you get the best experience on our site and um, that gives people the opportunity to opt out of the Google cookies being installed on their browser because Google tracks uh, it keeps statistic statistical data of how um, people interact with their adverts and under European privacy law there's an e-privacy directive you've got to give people the opportunity to opt out and that means you've got to modify the code of each Google AdSense ad unit and, in, and with the standard units that's quite easy because the code that they provide let me find it looks like this script type text javascript and there is again text javascript that is a standard google adsense ad and typically you would go into well you'd get that from your adsense account you'd copy and paste it into your website and then the adverts would show up in the places where you've pasted that code fine that's great only thing is now if you're in the uk you've got to modify the code and I've been using a service called um, where are you? Where are you? Sitebeam Cookie Consent, and they provide the tools that you need to give people the opportunity to opt out of cookies, and it's been great. It's been fantastic. However, recently I wanted to upgrade to a mobile responsive site, which I've done now, um, but their their solution hinges on the old Google AdSense script type and you can modify it you, you put text plain and then you add a class a CSS class C, uh, CC hyphen on consent hyphen inline advertising yeah blah 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 that's fine that works on a fixed width website but it doesn't work on mobile responsive AdSense units you've got to Use a, use a bit of a workaround. Right, can you see this advert here that says just eat takeaway? If I resize my browser window, you can see that the website is responsive, it's collapsing and the you know, it's changing. Only thing is, that advert there, let me just get rid of this, that advert is not responsive. That's because it's a standard Google advert and if I want to use the responsive advert I can use a responsive advert Google provide a code snippet it's easy you just paste it into your website and you're away but the thing is there's no cookie consent when people opt out from cookies on your browser those ad units which are the responsive ad units the, the, the cookie consent is not being applied to those units because they use a different code type which is ignored by the, the cookie consent code. Cookie, cookie consent, or site beam I should say, they provide you with the code snippets and here it is, look, they provide you with this which you paste either into your header script area if you're using WordPress or above your closing head tag and uh, yeah like I say it just doesn't work with the responsive units. Let me show you the responsive units. If I go to I created a, a responsive unit already here it is get code right they don't provide the script type is not the standard JavaScript type which I was showing you a moment ago in that text document it's a it's a different script type I don't understand what script type it is you see what I need I need something like this so I can modify it I need to be able to take a responsive ad unit from AdSense and do something like this with it. And maybe there are other ways to do it, but so far I've quite enjoyed using the site beam method and I've been recommending that method. But now response the responsive ad units 
from Google, I'm thinking, well, I don't know what to do. But I found a solution, and I've got the solution here. I'll provide these resources in the video description. There'll be a link there. You need to copy this. Well, you need to, first of all, get this code into a, a, a text document like I've done here. And there's a few things that you need to replace. You see here, this is your advert ID and this is the ad slot ID and then you've got the ad height. Those are the three main things that you need to change and this is the solution to the Google AdSense responsive unit issue and cookie consent. This is what you need to do, right? What you need to do is create a new ad unit and where it says add, no, no not there, sorry, add size Go for custom add size and then choose wh what size you want this advert to be and what will happen what, when, once we've completed all of this. This is, what, this is what is going to happen. Let me just refresh this. Refresh please. Today it would be nice. Right. Can you see this advert? That's responsive now. That will collapse to a different size according to the parent container that it is in in the website. If I expand it, you'll notice that the advert doesn't actually expand. But when you refresh, refresh please. There you go. So that is responsive and that particular unit is using the cookie consent JavaScript modifications as recommended by cookie consent and site beam. So back to what I was talking about, you need to get this code, you need to create a brand new ad in AdSense, make sure it's custom ad size, give it a name, choose your size, click save and get code. I've already done this so I don't need to do that again, so let me show you the code go for this type, I don't know how to pronounce that word, pick this type of code, copy it and then open up a blank document, grab this which is your ad ID, copy that and then where it says CA hyphen pub hyphen you put the ID in there and we're also going to have to put the Google Ad Slot ID in there as well. So back to our code. Grab that. Copy. Back here. And paste. And because I'm using the AdSense leaderboard, 728 by 90, all I've got to do is just pick up that height. That's all I need. And then paste that there and that is pretty much it apart from the fact we now need to modify this which says text JavaScript well we, we used we need to use cookie consents re, um, site beams r recommended JavaS uh, Java, yeah, JavaScript and CSS modification and I'm just going to pick up all of this because I know it's good that's that's a valid that's valid markup for what we need to do to modify the responsive advert so just replace just replace that paste yep so now pick up all of that and then you go to your website and and then go to your website and I've already pasted that code in there but I'll do it again so you paste it in save it and then you need to refresh only thing is when, when you do pa paste in a new AdSense advert sometimes for 10 minutes it will show up blank 
There'll, there'll just be a blank space there. And don't, if that's the case, give it 10 minutes and then refresh your browser. If it's still not working, hold the control button on your keyboard and tap F5, which forces the cache to completely empty and then reload. Well, that appears to be working. So let's check in the source code. Uh, go view source. And let's just go scroll down. You can see I've also added the cookie consent to my Google Analytics. Keep going down. Right, here we go. So that this is the responsive from this is the responsive ad code that's a custom ad size it's responsive so every time i resize my browser and refresh which is important every time i res resize my browser and refresh i'm going to see a slightly different sized ad unit so let me just refresh this well, actually that looks okay as it is, that's supposed to be that size. Let me go a bit smaller. Notice it overflows while well, you've got to refresh in order to get the proper responsive layout. So I'm refreshing that now. There we go. So you want to do that with all your adverts. I've not done it with that one yet as you can see but I'm going to be working on that one next. Um, I've got another advert. This one here, I'm not going to bother adding any responsive or custom functionality to that because it's it's vertical anyway. So I don't see the point. I mean, if I n nobody's got a device any narrower than that, so that's fine. So that's pretty much all you need to know. Like I say, the description contains links to the resources that you'll need, and it's a case of copying and pasting making some very minor modifications uh, i do recommend you do it because it's the law it's it's european law you can find out more about cookie regulations by going to ico.org.uk and you can read about the uk cookie law the e-privacy directive it's it's very much recommended that you read it and also watch the video about cookie consent sitebeam.net forward slash cookie consent forward slash code or there's a top there's a, a button here in the top navigation that you can click and you'll need to go through this guide and choose what types of cookies you're using and then right at the end they'll give you the code snippets that you need to paste into your site. I also recommend subscribing to their newsletter because they're probably going to be able to stay abreast of, of changes and developments. I hope they, they're able to see the video that I've created and make some comment on it. If they've got any better ideas of how to achieve um, mobile responsive functionality plus the cookie consent in accordance with the e-privacy directive I'm listening you know if you've got uh, sight beam I'm talking to you now if you've got any good ideas let me know I'd really appreciate it and I'm sure small business owners or marketers in the UK would like to know this as well so thanks ever so much for watching I appreciate it I'll talk to you again soon bye for now